ain't popular Nobody talks to you unless they mocking you Not even the bus driver or the hall monitor I might as well climb inside my locker, huh? It's a bad day, bad week, and a bad month Don't nobody wanna trade with my bag lunch Someday I'ma be so cool But for now I got cheap shoes, so I keep losing Girls give no love to a poor man It's a prison, the clock is warden and it... Okay, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is... No. What's up, guys? Welcome back. My name is Damien. I'm Kyle. And I'm Alex. We are our Mind Center. We make short films. We review movies. And my goodness, boys and girls, did we get to pleasure ourselves to a movie tonight because, oh my goodness, it's incredible. Alex, what movie is it? The movie that we saw is called Blade Runner. Blade. <laughs> Not again. I'm so excited. <laughs> Blade Runner 2049. Mm -hmm. So this movie is continuing the story from Blade Runner 2019, and I don't want to give too much away, but it's continuing that. It's in the future, and now the Blade Runner from the last one, who's played by uh, Harrison Ford, is being hunted down. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely a sequel. I think we should be safe to say that right off the bat. This isn't a oh, reboot or some 100%. weird soft reboot kind of thing. This is a yeah. true to form sequel. Mm -hmm. That being said, you will not have to have seen the first one. I think it's safe to say after seeing this, you could see this by itself. However, yeah. it would help. It would heighten the enjoyment because yeah. every single time you see even just like the technology that is similar yeah from the last one seeing that in this one is just is awesome yeah and they do they they have some um they have some moments from the, the first movie in this movie and it would just it would make this movie just so much better yeah, yeah. so if, if you haven't seen or have no clue what blade runner is it's set in the future where a company has created these synthetics called replicants and they live among us or whatever Something happened way back in the day, kind of like a replicant civil war. They outlawed them, and now there's these people called Blade Runners, policemen, who are... Their job is to go out and retire mm -hmm. these replicants, a.k.a. kill them. And uh, yeah. that's where we have our theme for this entire movie, mm -hmm. and that is where it is Ryan Gosling's job, our main character in this one, to take us on that journey. And he does a phenomenal job, and the mm -hmm. journey that he is taking us on is my Goodness! It's incredible. Loved every second of this movie. Yeah. Yeah, so we um, we recently watched the first one just mm -hmm. to kind of get ready. We were like, I had never seen it. I had heard Blade Runner, but I didn't know anything about it. I watched it, and um, it's a pretty good movie, but <laughs> my <laughs> humble opinion uh -huh. is that this movie blows that movie out of the water. Just my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's kind of a weird thing to say sometimes because people's biggest argument to why the first of a series or first of a trilogy is the best is because it was the first one to do it. Yeah. And they definitely bring a lot of those old ideas back in this one, but it, it is not the same thing. No. It is not the same movie. No. It is the best way they could have done a sequel and or anything to continue I think, this I line. think it's, it's so yeah. good. And so good. Ryan Gosling is so good. And Harrison Ford gives the best performance I think he's ever given. And Jared Leto as our villain in this movie, Wallace, does an awesome job too. And this, this movie is a true-to-form, just like the original was, noir detective mm -hmm. movie. Our main character, Ryan Gosling, is a Blade Runner. And he is, the whole movie, he's investigating stuff. And with a movie like that, the goal for the director, for the cinematographer, for the person who's doing the score, the composer, and the actors, is to make sure that you stay invested, that you stay interested, and that the end result is worth your time. Mm -hmm. And every single one of those boxes is checked twice. To, to stay interested for two hours and 48 minutes. It's a long one, for sure. It, it's hard to do, but mm -hmm. I was... I was no, yeah, this, excited the this, entire movie. This is a long movie. And <clears throat> for me, one of the things that I think is a negative of this film, but at the same time, if you're into the detective films and the way that this is set up, and if you like the first one, it's not a negative by any means, but it is slow. Mm -hmm. The movie is slow. Mm -hmm. And you kind of just walk through the plot with the main character, but every single shot, 
every single clue that you find, every actor that comes through the film is just this phenomenal piece of art that it's is so, being put in front of It's me. so genuine. This movie never feels like contrived. And with a movie like this, you see a trailer for it and you're mm -hmm. like, oh, that's just going to be a sci-fi epic movie. I'll go see it. Don't go expecting that because this isn't an action movie no. by any means. It's not, it's not some high budget but low talented yeah. movie. This is like if an art house director was given the, a budget of this much and they made a movie. Because this, it's like the greatest big budget indie movie you will ever see. Mm -hmm. And I love every second of it. Whenever a scene would go or you knew a character was going to a new location, it was exciting because I was interested and I was like, ooh, I wonder where he was going to go next. But mainly because I just wanted to see what the place looked like. Because it was so interesting and like you see the, the architecture of this movie and the way that the world is built around these characters. Like I said, genuine is the word that I would use. None of it feels like they're trying to just shove it in your face. Like, right. look how futuristic this movie is. Look at our technology. Because it doesn't feel like that at all. Right. And it, it's so, it's so good. Oh, let's just rate this bad yeah. boy so, yeah, I can, yeah, yeah. so I can just, so I can, just, oh, it's so good. This, this movie is one of the best detective, Alex said this, one of the best detective movies he's ever seen. And I agree. This is one of the best sci-fi movies I have ever seen. But I can safely say that this is the most beautiful movie that I have ever seen. And that's just with the cinematography and the lighting and the set design and everything else. But what you find, what I found in this movie, is that even beyond the crazy colors, even beyond the good acting, the story is also surprisingly beautiful. This movie deals, just like the first one, deals with humanity and people with God complexes and how creation works. And mm -hmm. it's so beautiful, guys. This movie floored me on multiple occasions and has given me a level of beauty I didn't know I could even see on film, which is why, for the third time, I think, this year, I will give this movie 10. 10 amazingly cool flying cop cars out of 10. Yeah. Guys, this this movie blew me away in every way possible, and I adore it. I have seen a lot of movies, just movies, mm -hmm. and I can say that this is one of the best movies that I've ever seen. <laughs> It's it's phenomenal. It's beautiful. Um, the color palette, which is something that I always pay close attention to because I just love it. I love colors. Um, the sound design, the score, um, the acting, everything is it just it falls into place right where it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. And I loved every all all two hours <laughs> and forty eight minutes of it. And I will rate this movie a. So my oh sorry. <laughs> well, I was gonna say I was gonna say Batman Bill. Oh okay, that would have been a deep. Because it kind of looks like Batman mm -hmm. Bill a little bit. Ten bowls of rice out of ten. <laughs> All right, ten bowls of rice. <clears throat> I I did in fact say that this is one of the best detective movies I've ever seen. I had a lot of fun watching him go through this journey, and. All of the all of the little aspects of this film just fell right into place for me, and I, I had a lot of fun with it. I think that it is very long. It's two almost three hours mm -hmm, long, mm -hmm. which is a very long run time. But that's part of it is is just sitting there and taking it all in. Um, I'm really excited to see it again, and I'm not going to give it a ten, but I, I I do really enjoy this film, and I'm honestly excited to see it again. Mm -hmm. uh, I think watching it a second time will either solidify the rating I'm going to give it or just be like, wow, I should have given it a 10 immediately. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to give it an 8. I'm going to give it an 8 serial numbers out of 10. Mm -hmm. Nice. We want you to go see this movie. This is definitely a must-see movie of the year. Hey, Hayden, and if you're out there, go see this movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And hey, any of you, if you have seen it or are looking forward to watching it, let us know what you think. Leave a, leave a like on the video, put a comment in there, tell us whether we are wrong, whether this movie is contrived and ham-fisted or anything like that. Tell us if we're contrived or <laughs> ham-fisted. <laughs> ham yeah. Don't do that. Don't hurt our feelings. No, but okay. anyways, guys, um, so you don't forget, my name is Damien. I'm Kyle. And I'm Alex. And until next time.
And that way it'll be like a like a hidden thing. Like when people watch our videos, they'll be like, oh, count the whistles, count the whistles. <laughs>